I wrote the book so that people can really relate to it. This is my story and the inspiration should be, I was told I, I wouldn't be able to do any of the things I've done and I just want it to be an inspiration for anybody who wants to take control of their life and establish that picture for themselves and give them encouragement that they can actually go do it. So look, the thing is, is that wasn't my target, 100 million in net worth. That was the result, right? The cause and effect. It was the effect of the cause. And the cause was to build an organization where I could share value with my clients, share value with my employees, have a shared valued, decentralized ownership structure that benefited the community in which we all served each other and, and worked together. And I believed if I could build that and create an economy amongst that group where everyone could win, I could replicate it a thousand times over. So if you want to help businesses grow, this is what Grant and I do. Grant is the world authority in marketing and sales, and he's raised more crowdfunding than any other human being on the planet. So the 10th element to growing a scale is investment thesis. My expertise is strategy. Strategy, sales, marketing, people, operations, finance, uh, leadership, data, technology, and then investment thesis when it comes to businesses. So I don't need to be as good as Grant at marketing and sales because he's a global authority. I just need to be good at the seven other things that I do well. And then we both complement each other very well in the investment thesis. And so what benefit is that to a business owner? Well, we've broken down exactly how we do everything across those 10 elements and how we deploy them and when we deploy them from startup to 125 million in revenue. And we actually bring people through our system and we show them, this is what we did yesterday. Here's the person in charge of it. Here's the results. Here's what we did the day before. And here's what we're going to do tomorrow. So instead of teaching theory, we're teaching what we actually do every single day in our businesses. We break open our p ls so that they can actually see how we structured our p ls how we manage the business, how we pay on the business, how we build our product portfolios, how we deliver on our product portfolios so they can go through all all those classes we've created and curate through a system that I created with all the research, they can actually sit and curate their business against what they're doing right, wrong, or what they need to do differently. And so it just helps them build bigger, better, faster, and more valuably. And that's the system that we've created and delivered to the marketplace. We call it 10X operating system, 10X OS, but it's how we do it and it's what we teach. And they get to actually have the inspiration of seeing our direct results in real time. We're entirely transparent. Anybody that wants to challenge us, they can come down, spend a couple of days, sign an NDA, and we'll walk them. They can sit with our CFO or whatever department and they'll walk them through the exact numbers, including tax returns. And we studied and interviewed over 10,000 entrepreneurs in our research. What was interesting is we asked them a question and 88% of the respondents answered the question the same way. We asked them, when you launched your company, what were the top three to five key reasons you launched it? This is important data because 88% response was, I didn't want a boss. I didn't want to be told what to do. I didn't want to be held accountable. I didn't want a limitation on my earnings. I didn't want to have to answer to anybody. So those entrepreneurs started their business for what they didn't want. And what's the issue there is they don't really know what they do want. So they just went after replacing income and got comfortable. And as long as they don't have to deal with those five factors, they're happy making their hundred grand a year because they were already in a framework of mediocrity. Contrast that to entrepreneurs who said, I wanna conquer, I wanna win, I wanna create something massive, I wanna create something unbelievable. Now what's interesting is those stats also align because from startup to 100 million, 97% fail within 10 years, two thirds fail in the first five. So it aligns with the mindset of those entrepreneurs that started a business because they wanted to succeed versus those business owners or founders that started a business because of what they didn't want. And really it's to be an example to all the business owners. You know, we have a couple billion of business owners coming through our system. The goal is to 10X that, take it to 20, 30 billion, and really either educate them and help them make good decisions and execute every day, or to engineer their businesses and then they hire us to assist them or to partner with them and go out and dominate the space and the marketplace in their particular vertical. So we're very clear about what we're doing and who we do it with. And I think the beautiful thing is the more clear and concise and precise you can get as a business owner about what your intentions are, it's a lot easier to bring a partner in to help you. So when people get focused on everything that's wrong and who's not doing what and why it's not fair, you got nowhere to go with that. And of course, it's going to be 
destructive. And so I always tell people, you know, partnerships, if you have two adults that go into it collaborating where they can leverage each other's skill set, their contributions, their competencies, and they can coordinate and orchestrate to conquer and they're conquering, they're going to be amazing. But where all that isn't in place and they're ill-prepared, they're just going to end up fighting and then they're going to end up dissolving.